name is Rashida Kaitan. Um, I was born in the UK um, to Bangladeshi parents. So um, I came, grew up really in a really humble upbringing, let's say. And today I'm a strategic financial planner, a wealth and wellness coach. And I can say I think my career or the love for my career really started um, in 2006 when I was diagnosed with the uh, last stage of cancer. So I say I'm also a cancer kicking queen. So yeah, that's who I am. 26 years old, I've never been sick in my life. And one day the doctor says to me, I am riddled with cancer from my um, rib cage, diaphragm, all the way to the top of my skull. Immediately you just think there's got to be some sort of mistake. You know, what it was that, that changed me and it was this recovery. The doctors told me that I had six months to live. They literally gave me a death sentence. One, I accepted the fact that that was the truth. And I started to say to myself, well, did, did I live? And did I live fully? My answer was yes, I lived. But no, I don't think I lived fully. So I made a choice and I decided from that day to the day that I die, whether it was in six weeks or six months, that I would live fully. So I changed my diet. Um, it gave me more vitality. I changed some of the words and I became conscious of the words I was using with myself. I started to learn about the physical body. I started to learn about the, the gift of life. and. In that, something miraculous happened. When I started to focus on that, my body started to heal. The lesions started to disappear. The cancer started to reduce. And within six months' time, it was gone. And I was supposed to have years of treatment if it, if it was to work. And according to medical science, I'm supposed to be nine foot under. It's been six years, I can say now. Like, you know, I am the fittest I have ever been in my life. What I discovered was living in that way, living with that level of consciousness, gave me a complete new awareness to life. And I continue today to live my life like that. And I believe that I actually healed myself. So a day in the life of Rashida. Well, my day starts what I call early. I'm usually up at uh, six. I take the morning time just to really set up my day in terms of the intentions for the day. So in these first two hours, let's say six to eight, I have my lemon water, I have my green juice, um, I look at my daily plan and I really set my uh, plan for the day. I do some meditation and um, do my prayers and really gear myself up for the day, have some breakfast and eight o'clock, I am ready to work. I go out to see my meetings and I do my meeting preparation as well. The day runs like this and I try to finish my day at between seven and, and eight. find myself in finance and, and it's really linked to I think my upbringing. I decided that I wanted the, the richer life and the better life I guess in terms of um, wealth and, and money. And then I found myself wanting, you know, always learning, wanting that how is it that the rich are rich and, and the poor are poor. And it, you know, there's got to be a solution. And I think I just went on that quest and I soon found myself working in the financial sector. I think Dubai for me, what it's given is, is immense vision. Dubai has really created, or the UAE has collected some of the most fascinating, adventurous and probably quirky as well people in the world. Um, I love living here. I think it's just fab. Money has one purpose. It gives you the power to say yes. And my mission in life is to help people to live the life that they truly love. I saw a woman die 
because of the lack of finances in her recovery. She also had cancer, was in the same ward as I was. Is it the difference between life and death even? So I wanted to reach those people where to, I could take away the financial burden. So I found those type of charities. I love, you know, one of the other gifts of, of life is education. You get education and now you can start to stand on your own feet. So those were the two areas that I thought, I'm going to gather some people together, we're going to raise some money and that's what we're going to do. I ended up having 297 people. I thought I could raise 10, 20,000 dirhams. We raised 87,000 dirhams. And everybody said, wow, we can't wait to come next year. And I'm so grateful for my support circle to have created this incredible foundation called Celebration of Life. My mantra in life, I would say, is live the life you love and celebrate on the way. Lead by example, inspire and instruct others how to do it too.